Yeah, and you know, I had this one scored um, as an eight. I had earthy and very pleasant um, as my descriptors for how this smelled. If you could smell soil fertility, that's kind of what this smelled like to me. As I'm looking at this, you know, it's a pretty uniform soil. I love that dark color that you get out of it. That's likely from a lot of that composted manure in there. And the little bit of wood chunks that you have, they're pretty well broken down, they're aged. Um, so for look and feel, um, it's really consistent. And I had it at a 9.5 actually. This is one of the better looking and feeling bag soils that I've had the opportunity to get my hands on. Yeah, I rank this particular soil on look and feel at a nine. Okay, perfect. So we'll put 9.25 in that scorecard and then move on to nutrient levels. So Chris, my soil, why don't you go ahead and talk us through nutrient levels and how you, uh, how you scored this one? Yes, for every uh, potting mix that we do before we plant the plants, we do the soil analysis. Uh, on this particular soil, uh, it scored pretty well. I actually scored it at a, at a seven. Um, the only reason it didn't score a little higher is it was low in one of our, our macronutrients and an important one being nitrogen on the test. All the other macronutrients were really good. Uh, micronutrients, although weren't optimal, they're a little higher than some of the ones that we see on some of these bag soils and pH was within the optimal range. Yeah, absolutely. I had it scored as a seven um, as well. So we're in alignment there. I do want to talk about something just briefly though, even though those nitrogen levels are suboptimal, you notice that after six weeks of growth, these are pretty robust plants. Normally we'd see nitrogen being limiting at that level. What we think happened though, and this is based on a second soil test just last week, is that that nitrogen that was in the manure continually released through the trial to pretty closely match plant needs. Now, we see it kind of running out of a little gas right now, week six with some of this chlorosis, that yellowing that you're seeing on some of the older tissue. Um, so, nutrient levels, seven for the scorecard. Yep. Perfect. Now, the next thing is we're looking at this, will it grow a plant? What did you notice as this grew out, Chris? I noticed that this soil will grow a plant uh, very well. Um, this is a very robust, you know, tomato plant as well as our uh, lettuce that's underneath here. Um, very nice um, growth on the lettuce, uh, big full leaves. Um, this did this soil did really well on plant growth. Um, for both of our lettuce and our tomato plants. Yeah, absolutely. The only thing I might add is, you know, we we're growing this out with five other soils um, and this one had a great bushiness, but upright growth, but it stayed pretty rigid. Um, there was no need to stake this one out even with this much biomass. 